Hi, Warner here. For the next seven months, I'm going to be doing short video posts reading from my book, J.S. White, Our First Architect. Seven months is the amount of time it's going to take for the book, written in collaboration with Seattle photographer Otto Gruel, to be printed, uh, first produced, then printed, and 800 copies shipped to Snohomish. Let's begin this month with the first essay of the very first building J.S. White built in Snohomish in 1884. Snow covers the stack of lumber on the Avenue C site of the new church following the late December storm, delaying the start of construction. Farther down Avenue C, just across 2nd Street, the sidewalk is monopolized by a jolly crowd of coasters, young and old, according to the newspaper The Eye on December 20, 1884. By the end of April, however, a little over a year after the Whites arrived in Snohomish, the Methodist Church is fully enclosed, reports the Eye, May 2nd, 1885. Along with the editorial comment, when completed it will be a handsome edifice and an ornament to the town. On July 4th, two weeks before the official dedication, the Eye devoted several column inches to the interior of the new Methodist Church. It is of the Gothic style of architecture and occupies a sightly location at the corner of Avenue C and 3rd Street and is one of the first and most attractive objects that meets the eye when approaching the city from the south or west. Upon entering the building, a person is surprised by the novel yet beautiful finish of the interior, especially the ceiling which reaches to the rafters and in which the finest quality of cedar lumber has been used, being laid in diagonal sections. Unique and artistic trestle work on the ceiling lends additional strength to the roof. The building has a seating capacity of 250 persons and is lighted by 10 large Gothic windows and two circular ones ornamenting the gables. Mr. J.S. White, the architect and builder, informs us that the cost of the building and lot will hardly exceed $1,500. Without notice in the press, but with a sturdy team of horses, the Methodists moved White structure one block east, uphill to three lots they had purchased in 1908 at the corner of Avenue B and 3rd Street. The building was set above a full concrete basement that eventually included a kitchen. This church building, the oldest one standing in Snohomish today, is now a chapel for hire. White's historic structure is quite popular, and if only a few of the guests look up to appreciate the original ceiling as described in the newspaper 132 years ago, my modest prayers will be answered. <laughs>